For today's video, I'll be showing you guys an update to my photo card collection. This video is long overdue. It was supposed to be up back in December, but I just kept pushing it off because I got busy and lazy. But it is here now. And before I start, I would like to note that all of the materials I use for my collection, such as binders and sleeves, are in the description box below, so you guys can check that out. It'll have both the links and the names of the products. So I hope that helps you guys. And let's start this video. So for the front of my binder, there's a photo of Red Velvet. It actually isn't normally there. My camera just has a hard time focusing on white surfaces. So that's why I place it here. And onto the side. This is pretty much a lot of sleeves. I initially planned to have two separate binders, but just for the simplicity of this video, I just left everything in one binder. But I do plan for the next update for this collection to split this collection in two. So I'll probably have one binder for my ultimate biases and then one binder for the rest of the groups. But we shall see, that is in the future. And let's start this. Okay. I'm gonna be careful, there's a lot of things on the side. So for my left pocket, it's pretty much just items I received in my albums or just in my orders. So it includes things that are official such as these album stickers and things that aren't official like these black pink postcards. It's just a nice little area where I keep items that are too big for these photo card slots. Right here in the center are unofficial stickers that a seller gave me before. They're really tiny so that's why I just left it in this pocket. And let's officially start our collection. So right here we are starting off with Red Velvet. The way I organize my collection is that I have my ultimate biases up top, which is going to be Red Velvet and then Girls' Generation. When I first started collecting photographs, I had initially just planned to collect my ultimate biases. So I just kept it in the same order I started my collection with my favorites up top. And with the first page, there is no changes since the very first video of my photo card collection. There are no updates to this, sadly. What I planned for this page initially was just early debut photo cards of Red Velvet, which includes baby photos of Irene and Sogi in her Oz musical. I'm still missing the B one, and for Irene, I'm still missing the adult version. So these photo cards are from her birthday party, and this is from Sogi's musical. I don't really have a lot of hopes for this page to complete, so this will probably stay the same for the next year or two. This page though made lots of progress since my first video. These are photo cards that are part of SM's Coex Fortune Cookie set. So for the first four, they are released during the early debut, hence why there's no Yeri. And for this later collection, I think it was released back in 2016, so that's why Yeri is here. The only one I'm missing is Irene from 2016 or whatever year this was released. She's wearing a pink jacket, you'll probably know it if you've seen it. And I'm quite proud of this collection because I did not think this would fill up as quickly as it did. I initially just bought Wendy and Sogi set from a seller in UK and it just slowly filled up eventually. And now we are on to the albums. So here we have Red Velvet's Ice Cream Cake. Red Velvet's The Red. This is the only album where Red Velvet actually released a group photo card, which is a bummer. I love group photo cards. I don't know why it's such a rarity with albums. So that's why the red has a special spot in my heart. Here we have the velvet. I think this was not filled when I was first filming this collection. I think I eventually filled up the other members. I know I pulled Eerie in my album and I bought Joy not long after. So I'm pretty sure the only new photo cards are the top three. Irene's one gave me trouble. This photo card is known as one of Irene's hardest to find ones. Mostly because The Velvet isn't a very popular album. So I had trouble with that one, but I got it now. We're on to Russian Roulette. This is the era full of colorful hairstyles. So for this album, I pulled Sogi and then I bought Irene individually. And I got the rest of the members in a bidding from what I can remember. Now we're on to Rookie. So these are the photographs that I pulled in my album, including the extra joy. I actually pulled two Wendy's too of the same version, but I have that traded to Romania. Hopefully I get it soon and I hope I'm not being scammed. Always worry about that. Joy's photo card is still up for a trade. I have Yuri's other photo card for this set on the way here. But yeah, the photo cards for this album is going to take a long time to finish. Mostly because this album's kind of old now. So yeah, this is the second part of Rookie. Now we're on to Red Flavor. 
I actually really do like this set because this was the era that got me into Red Velvet, so this set will always have a special spot in my heart. And I just love the bags with these. I love the fruits. I believe this is the photo card that I pulled in my album. And now we're on to Peekaboo, another beautiful set. Here's where Red Velvet's photo card's starting to get pretty expensive because the girls got more popular. And it is worth it because they're gorgeous. This set had a pretty strong emphasis on the color red for some reason. But because of the outfits. Now we're on to Bat Boy. This set is one of the prettiest Red Velvet's ever released. I really love the styling for this era, especially on Wendy. The contacts and the purple hair was lovely. And the other set. Here are the photo cards from my Kino album for Bad Boy. These are the photo cards that came with the album. The other set. And here are the special photo cards, which gave me some trouble last night. So for some reason, I thought I finished this collection. So I spent a long time looking for Joyce photo card. I had to watch some of my old hauls to realize that no, I did not collect Joyce one yet. Yuri was my last photo card of this collection. So yeah, I'm still looking for Joy. I'll get that one eventually. This set makes me very happy, mostly because it was the very first time I pulled Irene's photo card. Right here. It is so cute. And I love the fact that for a pretty rare photo card set, I was able to find the most expensive member. My wallet was very thankful for that. But yes, still looking for Joy. We're now on to Summer Magic. This is the normal version of the album. For this set, I'm just missing Sogi. So this is another instance where I have problems with the photo card. The very first time I bought this photo card, I think it was back in October, like four months ago. And I got scammed out. I paid money for it and the seller never sent it. I had PayPal resolve it, but it gave me a sour taste in my mouth. I was really upset about that. I'm trying to get in contact with this other seller to sell it to me, but they have not been responsive. So Sogi's photo card for this normal set will take a long time. It really bugs me how long it's taking me to collect that one. Here we have Summer Magic's limited edition set, which I filled up really quickly, mostly because I bought five albums. So I was pretty much able to get most of these cards in my albums. I think if I remember correctly, I pulled these four in my album. I just needed to buy Irene. I think I actually pulled an extra joy too of this version. My memory is vague. So these are also photo cards for Summer Magic's limited edition. These are the transparent photo cards. And for this one, I've got Sogi, Joy, and Yuri in my album. I had to trade for Irene and Wendy. This was the very first time that I bought multiple copies of an album. So it was the very first time I experienced opening an album and hoping I don't pull multiples. Which I was pretty lucky with this album. I only pulled two duplicates of Joy and one duplicate of Yuri. Which I was able to trade into this Irene photo card, this Wendy photo card, and this Irene photo card right here. Very successful trades. So this is a very fun era for me. From Summer Magic, we're on to RBB, an underrated era. I love this era. For this album, I pulled Joy as my photo card. And for Wendy, I bought her in my January haul. For this set, it is slowly coming along. I have a Yeri photo card and a Wendy photo card on the way. So this will slowly finish up. And there are a total of 10, but I only have one sleeve because I ran out of these black sleeves. Now we're on to Red Velvet's Japanese album, Hashtag Cookie Jar. This set is done. For this album, I bought both the normal version and the limited edition version. Both comes with a photo card. So for one of my versions, I put Yuri. And for the other version, I put the group photo card. I bought Irene, Sogi, Wendy, and Joy eventually over time. And now we are on to kind of like a miscellaneous page. So these are pretty much Peekaboo era photo cards, but these are not from the albums. This set right here is from Red Velvet's photo card photo book. It's some silly thing that SM released to sell more photo cards. I did not buy the product, which I kind of regret because these photo cards are being sold quite expensive individually. Double the price of if I bought it originally with the product itself. But I was pretty fortunate to be able to get these two set together at a fairly decent price. The seller didn't overprice these things by a crazy amount as I've seen from eBay with the other members. So I was fortunate about that. And I was able to get my bias, so that's always awesome. And for down here, this is a photo card from the paper folder that SM released during Peekaboo. I only have Irene so far, 
This set will probably take me very long to finish. I've only seen Irene's, Yeri's, and Wendy's version being sold. This photo card set is just going to be a hobby of mine. It's not going to be something I collect seriously. And now we're on to the hologram set, which is another way for SM to sell us a billion photo cards. So this is the hologram set from Bad Boy, which is the first time they released this hologram set. I love this set. I love the styling. I don't love the prices. The prices is the reason why I have yet to collect Irene's version. Her set is being sold for like $30 right now. It's ridiculous. This set is supposed to be sold in like the tens price range. So that 30 something dollars is ridiculous. I will eventually get her though, but right now I'm just trying to find a good price for that card. And I do love the fact that SM put some effort on the back instead of just leaving it blank. And now we are on to the other hologram set. I left these here because I wanted to address this. So for my January haul, I spoke highly of these hologram sets that I bought, but I also want to give a heads up because I had lots of problems with these hologram sets when I was putting them in my slots yesterday. What I didn't realize was that some of the sellers have this sensor sticker on the back, which made it ridiculously hard to open and get the photo card out. I was very fortunate that Irene's one was on the corner here, so I was able to maneuver her out and slip the photo card out from the corner. But I was not as lucky with Sugi set, which was taped in the center, so I had to rip it out. But I was fortunate that this sticker actually cooperated and I got the sensor off to slip her photo card out. I had the worst luck with Joy set. Let me show you. I had to stick them back to back because this sticky is going to ruin my other stuff. So I had to stick them back to back so they don't hurt each other or my other stuff. So for my Joy set, the sticky part of the sticker won't remove. You can see this little goo right here. So I had to pretty much just squeeze the photo card out. I hate that the sticky thing is even on this product. It is such a pain. I was so upset last night because of this. But nothing was worse than this Joy set, which broke my plastic when I was opening it. You can see this giant curve of a chunk missing. Oh my gosh, my heart stopped when that happened. I hate when packages break like this. It's such a pain. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. It's not even one specific seller because I bought some from Great Music CD and some from this other seller. And some of them had this sensor on it and some of them didn't. Only this black version of this hologram set had the sensor from a Great Music purchases, but the other four members didn't have it. And these were all bought from the same seller and they had it. But my Yeri set that I bought from a different seller didn't have the sensor. So I just wanted to give you guys a heads up to make sure that your product doesn't have the sensor when you buy it off eBay or wherever. Because it is a pain as you can see here. And it's not even like one specific seller doing it. So be very aware of this situation. I hope I explained myself clearly about this. But now we're back onto the photo cards. I got them out eventually for this hologram set. And this is the set for Summer Magic. A beautiful set. I think Joy's one is the prettiest. I love that Girl Scout outfit thing going on. And I ran out of sleeves, so that's why there's no black sleeves covering the empty spaces. Again, I love the bags. I just wish they invested in some color here. But beggars can't be choosers. And now we have the set for RBB. I really wish everyone wore crowns for this. Sugi was missing out. But I love this set too. It's very regal. I'm going to cherish this set a little bit more than I initially would have. Just because of how hard it was to take them out of the packaging. And now we're done with album related red velvet photo cards. We're on to miscellaneous photo cards I have of Wendy who is my bias. My ultimate bias to be clear. These are photo cards from their Red Mirror concert merch. So for these three I bought myself with the products that it came with. And this one I bought just with the photo card itself. I didn't care for the product. And these are beautiful photo cards. I just wish she had a variety of poses because at a glance they all look the same. But I love her hair in Summer Magic era, which is when these photos were taken. She looked gorgeous. That's why I had to buy all the products she had with this hair. We're now on to Red Velvet's Season's Greetings. This is their set for 2016, which is their best set. It's their prettiest one. I love the color and black and white concept. Gorgeous. Here we have the season's greetings for 2017 when they were posing in a supermarket. It's an alright set, 
but the hair is very iconic. So for the 2018 set, I still have it in the packaging. I hate that season's greetings, that's why I never got it open, but it is red velvet, so that's why I bought it. And for 2019 season's greetings, it didn't come with photo cards, so that's why we don't have anything after 2017. And now we're finally done with Red Velvet. We're onto other groups and now we're onto Girls' Generation individual members' albums. We are starting off with Taeyeon because she's the oldest. Here we have the photo cards for her mini album, I, Y, and Something New. I love this page so much because this is probably the only page I have so far where all nine slots are filled up with a photo card. And she's just gorgeous throughout these arrows. And check out the back, pink, blue, white aesthetics and after that we have the photo cards for her first full-length album my voice these are the photo cards for the yellow version of the album whose name i forgot and we have the photo cards for the black version of the album which is i got love love this set also if you put this photo cards next to each other they would actually build up the word my voice and on the right here we have the photo cards for taeyeon's my voice deluxe edition which only comes with five photo cards pretty facts. And here we have Taeyeon, miscellaneous page. Up top we have the photo cards for her Christmas album and the photo cards for her paper folder that SM just likes releasing. I just bought it for the sake of buying it. And now we're on to Jessica's page. There has been a little bit of progress since the last time I made my photo card collection video. Jessica photo cards are ridiculously hard to get, especially for my decade. Hence why you only have six of them. This collection will take me forever. There's a total of 10. And it's been over a year since I've been collecting this, so I will probably finish it next year. <laughs> and this photo card, I think this is from her first album. I think this is With Love J. I just bought it because I saw it on sale and I was hoping that I won't pull it in my album. So I already have a head start in collecting for this album. I just love to hear for the sake of having it here. Now we're on to the other members of Girls' Generation. This is by age, so we have Tiffany, Yuri, and Sohyun. I think the only differences in this collection is that now I have Yuri's photo card. This is from her album, The First Scene. This is the photo card I pulled in her album. It is very ridiculous looking. She got those mandu cheeks. And I will eventually collect these. They are very pretty photo cards, but the price right now is a bit high for my taste, so these will wait. And for Sohyun, I believe I pulled this photo card in my collection and received this photo card as a freebie in one of my orders. So I'm just missing three photographs for this page, but it is slowly, very slowly coming along. I kind of wish the backs for Yuri's photo card and Sohyun's photo card were different colors. I understand why black was Yuri's because Black Pearl and her album was black. I kind of wish Sohyun's one was burgundy like her album, but I can't be picky about this. It all looks beautiful to be honest. And now we're on to Girls' Generation group photo cards. Here I have Lionheart. I have yet to post the unboxing for this album. I had to record it back in October, but I'm not very liking the quality of it, so that's why I'm still holding out on it. But for that album, I believe I pulled Yuna, which is a blessing because she is one of the expensive members. It's always just nice having the expensive members out of the way when you're trying to collect the whole group. Love the looks, and I love the back of these photo cards. And I also bought the You Think version of the album, and I pulled Taeyeon, another popular member, so I'm happy about that. This collection will take a long time. Lionheart will be easy because I can see a bunch of it on sale, but you think will take a longer time. And there are no hurries for that since it's an old album. And now we're on to one of my favorite pages because it is a very full page and it is Girls' Generation's Holiday Night. This is the holiday version. I love the colors going on. This is such a nostalgic album for me because it is their 10th anniversary album. And I just miss my girls. They're my very first folks. This is the night version. Love the backs for these. Beautiful. And now we're on to Girls' Generation subunit. Here we have OGG. These are the photo cards in the Kino album. There's a total of 11, which is a very odd number. And for each Kino, you get two photo cards. And for that, I pulled Taeyeon and I pulled Yuri. I am actually very happy that they actually gave us two photo cards in the Kino album. It made collecting this a lot quicker than I would have imagined because my front page is already full and my back page is missing Taeyeon and Yuri. Ironically, because they were the first ones I pulled, so I already had a head start, but they're the last ones I finished. And now we're done with my ultimate biases. We're now onto the rest of my collection. 
which is in alphabetical order. So we'll be starting off with black pink. The girls look beautiful. I just love the colors and everything. All the photo cards are quite different from one another too. So this is my black version set, which is done. The top are my random photo cards and the bottom should be the selfie photo cards. And this is my pink version set, which is still missing a Lisa random photo card and a Rosé selfie card. I am both surprised and not very surprised how long this collection is taking me because this cube is very popular, but I also did have a head start collecting this collection. I received four photo cards in my two albums, but it is coming along nicely. After Blackpink, we have EXID. Here we have the collection for I Love You. For that album, I pulled Jung Hwa's photo card. She looked gorgeous in that era. This is my very first EXID anything, and I do plan to collect all of the members. I really wanted to commemorate this era because Soji is my bias in this group, so I wanted something to commemorate her return. This set is not very much a priority, so I'll slowly finish this one. After EXID, we have EXO. This is The War. I think this is the regular B version, which is the only version I bought from that album. I especially love this set. I love the colors. There's so much going on with everything. And I got these photo cards all at a pretty decent price since I won these in biddings. And I always like that. I always love getting a good deal. From The War, we are onto The Power of Music. I love these photo cards too because I'm a sucker for unique photo cards and I love the borders here. And they look especially cute. I'm talking about you, Suho. Very cute set. And I'm pretty close to finishing this set. I'm missing just one Baekhyun, one Chanyo, and one Shuman. Happy about that. And now we're onto the collection from my very first EXO album, and it is Universe. I love EXO's winter albums, and this one's special for me because it really got me into EXO. Also because these are very adorable photo cards. You have Min Sook with his beer. Dio with his giant forehead, Chanyo looking cute as ever, and just boys in sweaters and cute outfits. Love this so much. A very underrated era in my opinion. From Korean albums, we're now onto EXO's Japanese album. Here we have the set for Countdown. I didn't think I would fill this up as much as I would. I pulled Sehun in my album, and then I slowly bought the other members. I don't remember the order. I might have gotten Chen, then Dio, then Kai, I don't remember but I just added Baekhyun to the collection. I actually have Shuman and Suho in my possession right now, but it's for my February haul. I just need to go out and buy Chenyo, but I'm still waiting for that to go at a lower rate. This collection is coming along very well. And now we're onto my EXO miscellaneous page. I didn't want to add different pages for this, so right now I just put everything together. On the left here, we have their winter album, which I think it is Sing For You here, and then we have for life here. These are the photographs that I pulled in my album. On the second row, we have the photograph that I bought for Don't Mess Up My Temple, Allegro version, and the photograph that I pulled in that album. And last but not least, we have EXO's photograph that I pulled in my Love Shot album shot version. I don't really know what I'm going to do about this collection. For sure, I am going to collect Tempo and Love Shot's photographs for the versions that I bought. But for these old EXO albums, I have no idea what I want to do. One of the ideas that I did have was to collect all of these Dio photo cards where he had his done like this because it looks so good together. I don't know, like this page will eventually figure itself out, hopefully. <laughs> and we are done with EXO. We're now onto the subunit EXO CBX. So the way I plan to do this collection is to have it as CBX. So Chen, Baekhyun, Shuman. I have yet to buy any of the Baekhyun photo cards, so that one will take a while. But I have finished my Shuman set, you can see here, and I finished half of Chen's. I love this set, it's beautiful, mostly because Min Sook look adorable. I love the blue hair, I love the beret. And with that album, they came with these member photo cards. I didn't know that these were pre-order items, so when I got my album late, I didn't have these in my album, so I had to buy these individually at a pretty high price. I felt like I got ripped off, but it's whatever. I really wanted these and I got them. From EXO, we're moving on to J with Chunghyun's album. This page will eventually be one of my favorites because of the way I planned it out. I will have all his photo cards filled on one page. We have bass for the right right here. We have his full length album, She Is. And for the four spots right here, we'll have his story ops one and two filled out. It's going to be beautiful when it's done. From J, we're onto K with card. 
I just finished this collection, which is pretty ridiculous. Ola Ola came out a while ago, but I wanted to get these photo cards at a fair price and I did. So for this set, they have the black and white photo cards and the card photo cards. I wish they kept up with this concept. I love this. Afterwards, we have You and Me, which I just finished as well. I know a lot of people were not very enthusiastic about the unit photo cards because some people are boy group stands or some people are girl group stands and they just didn't want to have a co-ed photo card. But I love it. It's unique. It's very much card. And it's cute. So for You and Me, they came out with these selfie Polaroids looking thing. And in my album, I believe I pulled BM. And to fill up a slot, I just put my Ride on the Wind items up top, which is a BM photo card and a BM and Jiwoo ticket. I don't think I want to collect for Ride on the Wind. It's definitely not a priority now, so that's why I just left it in this slot. I might in the future, but I'm just not very interested in that set. I really like this set more. So we shall see, but I will hold on to those items. And now we have more of those selfie Polaroids things. Here we have Soulman and Jiwoo. And for this slot, I just put up the postcards that came with Ride on the Wind. I love that they gave us a whole set. So I don't have to collect the other members I don't pull my album like I did with you and me. I just love that they gave everyone at once. BM, Soman, Jiwoo. Now we're on to Ki. So this page looks pretty sad. <laughs> I actually have both his photo cards here in my position as well, but it's also for my February haul, so that's why it's not open. And I also just ran out of black sleeves, so that's why I filled it up with white. I'm hoping Ki will have more albums in the future, so I'll fill up the rest of that. So this page will just be reserved for Ki at the moment. From K, we're on to M, and we're at Mama Moo. This is my very first Mama Moo album, and it is Yellow Flower. This set was surprisingly easy to collect. I think because a lot of people had it in possession, so this was fast. And now I have the photographs for Red Moon and Blue. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this collection. I bought Hwasa in these albums, hence why I have two Hwasas. And I bought Huyin at a very, very, very low price. So that's why I have these photo cards, but I don't know what I want to do with this. What I don't like about this collection is that there are eight photo cards, same with this one. I love the simplicity of Yellow Flower where there's only four photo cards. So this photo card set will just be there as for now. Maybe I'll buy them as I see them. I do love the bags for these though. I love the very strong theme, the strong yellow, strong red, strong blue. And now from M, we're now at T. We have Taemin's collection. Up top is his mini album Ace. Bottom we have his full length album Press It. Just looking at these photo cards are making me very excited for his upcoming comeback, which is in a few days, which will get its own slot in one of these following pages. This is a page that I think I might abolish because I don't plan to collect the rest of the photo cards. So this photo card is in Taemin's Flame of Love album, his Japanese album. This is in the fan club edition, and this is one of three photo cards. So these two are the other ones that I meant to have for that album, but they're expensive and hard to find and I just don't really want to get it anymore. I initially had this cleared out for Taemin's solo concert photo cards, but I just lost motivation to collect that too. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that Taemin photo card. I might just put it here. I have no idea, but this page is pretty much over. From Japanese album, we are onto his full length album. Here we have Move on the upper four and we have Move In, which is the repackaged album these postcards that came with Move. I bought two albums, so that's why I have two of those. From Taemin, we are onto his group Shiny. I don't know why I did this to have Shiny after Taemin. This might be a mistake on my part, I have no idea, but I just noticed that now. Here we have the Story of Light, EP1, EP2, EP3. I decided to have the group photo cards all on one page to just make things easier, and they're just beautiful. I'm pretty much done with this collection. I'm just needing one more for EP2. This set is both heartwarming and heart-wrenching for obvious reasons. Beautiful backs. And only EP2 and EP3 had individual member photo cards. So for EP2, I pulled Tae Min. I'm still missing O'Neil, Ki, and Minho. And for EP3, I pulled O'Neil. I'm still missing Tae Min. And I got Ki and Minho through a bidding, which I won at a very low price. Now we're on to my winter collection, which had no improvements since I made the video, I believe. These are just photos I printed to just fill up a slot. 
for my winter collection, I'm thinking of just ending it as it is right here. I don't know what I want to do. I just lost interest in collecting the rest of winter's photo cards, which is a bummer. They're beautiful, but I just don't really have the desire to finish this. I don't know what I want to do with it to just leave it as is, to sell it. But yeah, it is a major, major bummer. I'm just briefly going through these because there really is no change from the last time. So we initially we had Fate 24 and then Hour 24. They have a lot of really random sized items in the albums. The photo cards from every day, which are beautiful. I kind of wish I finished this set early on. That way it's full, but now I just don't have the motivation to finish this. I think mostly because there's so many items. I don't know why I do this to myself. Look, look at this set. It's beautiful. This is all my fault. Black version for every day. The Polaroids. And we're done with winner. We are on to my miscellaneous photo cards now. So on the top sleeve, we have Mino. This is from his collab album with Bobby, Mob. These are Mino's photo cards. I only wanted to collect Mino's set because that's the album I bought. And because Mino's one of my biases, so that's why I only collect Mino. Underneath, we have Sun Me. This is from her Warning album. A beautiful album. I forgot which one I pulled. I think I pulled the peace sign and I bought the heart sign later on from a seller. Very happy with this set. And on the bottom, we have Soyeon from Idol. I still don't know if I want to collect for the rest of the group, but Soyeon's my bias, so I'm very content with who I pulled. That's why I just left it here. I have no idea what I want to do with the rest of the members if I want to collect, but I'm very happy with getting Soyeon. And now we are on to my miscellaneous page for real. I have RM from BTS. This is from Love Yourself, the first series of the album. I actually really, really love that album. It's the only BTS album I own, and the photo card set is beautiful. I don't have a bias, so I didn't really mind who I pulled, but I am very happy I pulled RM. He is a great leader, so it is awesome that I have him here. Next to him, I have NCT's Johnny. I love Johnny. For some reason, I have this strong love for Johnny. I'm a very casual NCT stan, but I think I'm just thirsty for Johnny. He is such a hottie. I initially planned to get this photo card and start like a Johnny collection. But I always get distracted by collecting the other photo cards. And because I don't have NCT albums, it's harder for me to really follow the rest of his collection. So Johnny photo card set is like a long-term ideal project. There's no plans for it right now, but having one item is already getting me one step closer to finishing it. Next to that is a star card of GOT7 that I received for free for some reason. Chen from his beauty sponsor thing. I don't know why there's a photo card for that, but I received that for free as well received this Chen photo card for free as well. I think together, next to Chen, we have a pink. I think this is Naon, another free photo card I received. I don't know why I received this one. I didn't buy anything of a pinks and there's no flaws for this photo card. I understand why I got this photo card for free because there's a small damage on it. I forgot where was the damage. It might've been a tear or like a strong crease on it. This is BTSV, but yeah, pretty much my miscellaneous page. The back's pretty though. And now we're on to our last sleeve, which is just items that are too big to be in sleeves and they're not really photo cards. So they include items from my Idol album, which I have Shu Hua's password photo looking thingamabob, and I have Oogie's sticker. And on the right here, we just have Red Velvet related Cash B cards, which I collect Group and Wendy, Wendy's bookmark, BT21 Halloween sticker set, and postcards from Exos for Life, which I pulled. Well, this one's a group one. It comes in all of the albums, but I pulled Chanyo. So handsome. I think this was my first Chanyo anything that I pulled. So this is special. And beneath that is Chen's postcard that I pulled in Domesa My Temple Allegro version. This is the domestic version. Handsome boy. I plan to buy 5x7 sleeves to hold these postcards, so that's why I just have it here. I don't have those sleeves yet. And this was pretty much my collection. Let me try to flip everything over before I close it. I'm sorry if this was kind of wordy. I'm trying to keep it pretty short. 
but sometimes when you talk about something you're very passionate about, you just keep on going. So I apologize if it is wordy for you, but if you enjoy it, I'm happy I was wordy. <laughs> and this was pretty much my photo card collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I personally feel weird about this because since I'm always buying photo cards, I'm never content with my collection because it's never full, you know? I'm a very harsh critic about my collection. I know it's my collection, I can do whatever I want with it, but I see other people's one and it's all organized and beautiful. It's what I want mine to be, but I'm just too lazy to do anything about it. But for me, the most important part are the photo cards and what they mean to me, and these are very special photo cards for me. So what it lacks in visuals, it makes up for it in sentiment. This was a highly requested video, so I hope I did it justice. This is the first update to my photo card collection, and I hope you guys had a great time watching it. Hopefully the next update for this collection won't take as long as 8 months like it did with this video. It all depends on how organized things are and how lazy I am. Hopefully with the next video, there will be more organization and two binders. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button to let me know or just leave a comment below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!